Which one looks better? Well, I think we can all agree that this one on the left looks better. And this is a custom tree rather than one of the normally generated trees in Minecraft. And they always look a whole lot nicer than normal trees. But how exactly do you build them? Well, that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So, if you're not already subscribed, go and do that, because why not? And anyway, let's get into the video. So, for this design of tree, these materials on the hotbar are the only ones that you'll need for it. Just these. And this is for that oak or azalea tree back behind me. But anyway, let's get to how you actually build it. So, we're going to start by going up and making a trunk. Just like this, so straight line up, however tall you want. But I'd go at least six blocks up, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. At least six blocks up. Then, go and come off there a bit, and come off there, come off there too. And also come off here. Now, go and pick one of these and extend it out by one. Then, we can pick another one and extend it out by two. Then, what we can do, one of the ones that hasn't been extended, we can go up one and break the block below, just like this. And then we can go to the side one as well, just like this. So you go one one, up one, and to the side diagonally one, just like that. Then on the other one, we can go straight to the diagonal one, go for another on the cross, and then we can do another up one, just like this. And on these ones we can just do a diagonal one and maybe another up one. So you're basically just getting a nice pattern like this. And I'd say, think about how the branches of trees in real life act and try and replicate that, I'd say. Anyway, now that we've got a nice tree branch bit here, on the end of each one we're going to put a fence gate facing in the direction of where the tree branch was going. So this one is all going outwards from the centre, just like this. Now we've got this pattern, we can go in and place some fence posts where there would be like a connection in the tree between the different um, bits. So there, we've just got a few fence posts in to connect it all. Now we can come down to the bottom of our tree and we can make some little tree roots. Now we can also do one that's buried into the ground. And these again, just think about what a real tree root would be. So there'd be one that's still a small one, one that goes all the way out, one that's in the ground. And then maybe we can do a too high one like that. And then we've got our main wood bit. Now for the bottom, we can just add again the same fence post at the end of each one, just like this. And also the fence gates as well. So that we end up with a tree kind of like this. And if you want a dead tree, then you could do it like that, or make it out of acacia wood. We want a living tree, so it's time to add it on the leaves. Now, I'd go to the end and surround the fence post and the log that it's connected to with leaves, just like this. So you can't see it at all. Then do that on all of these ones, just like this, going around the fence gate and the log that it's on until they're completely covered and no blocks of no sides of them are showing. Just like this again, we've we just got one more to do, and there that one is now done. Now we can take this and extend the end one down by two. Go in the one next one goes down by one, then we can skip this one and go down by two, and go down by three here, maybe just like this. Move one there and one there. So that it forms that nice shape where it looks as if it's drooping down. So the idea is to get loads of curving up and down and that creates a nice drooping effect in, in the leaves. 
and it's good if you can replicate the opposite thing on the other side as it creates a very nice effect like this now I've got two done this one I think I'm going to make this bit the bit that droops down the most it's all drooping off that then we can do another two on here and we're all just building off this one and there now we've got that bushel now time for the last one which will be from here that'll be the droopiest part and then this part can have a little bit of droop as well and then also at the top we can add in this S shape well not an S shape but we want to add in a bit that goes so this is the flatness and there are usually just two here we want to build an S shape out of that and just extend it a bit so for this one I'm going to go there and there for this one I think there, there and for this one there and there so now we've got our bushels you have to just improve them a bit and we do that by going in the centre here and first of all bring it these other leaves which will be a darker colour in line and then extend them a bit so they become part of the tree as well and then these will be the centre of the tree so I make them opposite so this one's the droopy bit so make this the droop bit with space in between let's see so here we can make this bit here the droop here a bit if we just extend it there kind of like that and also I think I am going to extend that by one because if you have just a one block sticking out it looks a bit weird so I wouldn't do that unless you know what you're doing but anyway so now we just stick that bit out and also this side it looks a bit flat so we can just come in and make a little bit there like that so down doing something like this with a four block pattern or making an S shape is a really great way of making a flat surface look good again. Anyway, now we can just bring down the leaves and there, they're all done. But it still needs a bit more, so let's just put a little bit of leaf around the trunk. We can maybe add some hanging off. And then if we just fill in this canopy a bit, a few leaves just like this and then that's all filled in and I think this side looks a bit empty so we can add in another um, well another stem here then add in that then we go bring that here and we've created that bushel shape again so we surround those two bits then I'm going to make this the long bit, so bring it down by 3, then I'm going to bring that down by 2, then this one, 1, and then 2. Then we can just go in with our birch ones. This can be any one, as long as it's darker than the normal one I'm using. There, now it seems a bit more filled out, and we can also do the same thing here and add a bit more greenery to it. And also I think a bit more greenery on this side too. And there, now it's got a more filled in canopy. We can just add a bit on the bottom as well. But now it looks pretty nice I'd say. And this is almost finished. Because now you can take things like moss. And maybe some bone meal as well. And you can easily make it look a whole oh well if this was dirt then you could easily just place a loads of moss around and it'd create a nice little environment for your tree and now we have it built so that'll be all for today i hope you have enjoyed this and please consider subscribing as it helps out a ton and it's totally free goodbye